So today's project is going to be a ton of fun. I'm going to use this old fire extinguisher box. Kind of looks like it's out of an old building or an old school. And I'm going to make it an emergency wine coffee table. I will say this idea was uh, hatched by my wife. She thought it would be really fun and cool. So actually, it's all her credit. But this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to build a simple wood frame around it so you have a place to set your glasses or whatever. And then, of course, inside is where I'll mount the bottle and the glasses. I'm going to lay them all sideways. And I actually think there's enough space for two. I only got one of these bottles of wine because they're pretty pricey. Three dollars for this pup. Uh, but I'm going to make it to hold two, I think, just for down the road or whatever. So what I'm going to do first is build the wood frame. I need to plane this and join it and then uh, get it all assembled. That way it can be drying. And then I'll have to pretty much tear this thing completely down. I'm going to use a wire wheel or sandpaper or something to rough up, get these rough spots out of it. And then I'm going to paint it a cool color. My thought was, since I'm going to use hairpin legs, that I could match the leg color to the box color. I thought that would look cool. And then of course we'll put some felt inside this box and just class it up a little bit. We'll see how it comes out. So let's get started.
Well, here it is. It's all done. It was a really fun build. Uh, it's fun to take something like this old fire extinguisher cabinet and kind of give it a new life in a completely different aspect. I mean, obviously this was something that a million people walked by and never paid any attention to. And now hopefully it'll be the center of somebody's living room or, or a coffee table somewhere for them. So a couple things I wanted to mention. I use the hairpin legs. They're a great way to have a simple, cool looking leg that really functions well. I did make a couple mistakes when I, when I had the idea of the wood around it, it made perfect sense for setting a glass on and I measured that way, but I didn't take into account that it, it was inset on this box about an inch. So I lost an inch. You can still put one on the front or the back, but the sides are a little slim. For the paint, I used this Rust-Oleum Hammer Primer and Paint All-in-One, and I really like it. It gives it this really kind of rippled look. It took me a minute to figure out how to work it. You really had to pull the trigger hard to get it to spray, and then at the end I kind of like just popped it to let it splatter and that gave it the really cool hammered look. Inside I went ahead and did the insets like you saw. I went ahead and made it for two wine bottles instead of one even though I only have one and of course two glasses. It was funny because I made these out of wood thinking I was going to leave them wood and I didn't like the way it looked with the color so I painted them and then I didn't like the color of the paint so I painted them again and they kind of got this weird blurry paint but it looked cool so I left it. I went ahead and put that sticky back felt on the bottom of the box and also on the inset just to give it a little color change. And I think it worked really nice. The only thing I'm going to do before I give this thing away or whatever is I'm going to make a spot for this bottle opener or a bottle stopper and it has a wine bottle corkscrew in it. So that'll be a nice addition to this. That way it's really all in one in here. So it came out pretty good. It was nice size in there. Hope you like the project. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. Be sure and check out these other great videos because there's a lot of great stuff on my channel. And if you haven't done so, be sure and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.